architectonic means of or relating to architecture or an architect. It's typically used to describe uh, the science of architecture and the very strict forms of architecture. I'm approaching those aspects as well, but in a much more <laughs> surreal sense or, or um, visceral sense. I wonder if maybe the science of architecture is an invented science to balance or work with our bodily relation to architecture and how we occupy architecture. This specific room is either a sunroom or a living room where someone can sit and read a book or bask in the diffused light of the sun and still the entire time questioning how we perceive space and how the space can be seen differently. The architectonic series began as a study of line compositions drawn on paper. I began to realize that each drawing was investigating how space is made and how space is unmade. The rules that I have set up are based on a style of isometric drawing called axonometric drawing. It's a style of architectural drawing that has a very odd perspective that has depth but is still flat and, and obscured. I kept introducing new elements to push the series more and push the concept more. I decided to push it into a real world so I could build a room and step into the drawings. A lot of the decisions were very intuitively made mostly to best disorient or break the shape of the original rectangular room and create a new shape, you know, an unfamiliar shape. What kind of line work can I put into places to push an angle or to pull an angle or, or twist something so that it is more uh, disorienting or, or more questioning space? Yeah, if I can cover up as many things in the room that were once originally there um, and replace them with uh, something to either call attention to its design or form or eliminate its design or form, then you know, everything should be addressed in one matter of sense, even like, down to the door handle and the doorstop. The objects that are in the space are sculptural elements that people may have included to decorate their space. Um, and the, yeah, the objects are a way to reground and, and make the space more comfortable or inhabitable in the sense that it's not a barren, blank, white cube room. The furniture that is in the Architectonic series functions in a way where if in the end it looks like it shouldn't be able to stand or support itself, then it's a successful piece. And that holds true with the room itself. You know, when you enter it, it doesn't look like it should be supporting itself or it shouldn't be standing or the walls are slanted, so maybe the, the floor becomes slanted or, or it's just all it's really confusing to you. I would definitely spend a good amount of time in here. I think I really enjoy the room in its sort of um, blankness and emptiness. They can be somewhat uncomfortable, but also kind of nice. <laughs> The fate of this room is going to be left up to Chipstone for a while. They're going to be using it for the Object Lab series. Some students will be coming in here and studying it as an interpretive exercise to interpret the space and develop ideas of how the space can change and shape their experience.